Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Today's video is about one-of-a-kind antique market. It's the third floor that we're going to visit. Here we are walking in from the usual parking area. There is handicap parking on the part that we're looking at there by the White House. At this entrance you've got the small elevator to lift you from the ground to the first floor. You have to get staff to get you up there and you enter into the building this way. In this video, we're gonna be only doing a portion of the third floor. The place is massive. I will try to show you most of the booths in the area I'm looking at, but here we go up the stairs. At the top of the stairs, you end up with a whole long aisle of booths. We have a booth and you're going to see it in just a moment on the left. It's in a bit of a disarray at this point. I haven't done any maintenance on it after being away, but I'll do that after I've taken the video. I have vintage and I have antiques. It varies a bit. Right now we don't have a lot of our glassware there, but we do have a lot of old and antique glassware that uh, Westwood Avenue, my spouse, has collected for many years and sold some. Here we are, we're starting off opposite our booth, just so you can see that there's a variety of different things that different vendors have. From LPs, and there's many places that have LPs generally at the booth, at various booths. This one has china, glass, tools, as you can see, and some things are specifically marked down. This was taken just before their uh, February sale where they try to encourage all the booths to, uh, all the vendors to put down a markdown on their product, on their items in the store. And off we go. Here we are, we're going into what I refer to as the annex. This section has got books, a bookseller and we enter in and yes, there's other goods, but there's also a lot more books that are inside this area. We did have, um, this, this guy is new. Well, he may have moved there from another part of this building. Some have clothing, some have hard goods, some have books. This one has a particular booth, has a sale going on. They're usually time limited. Here you see some, some of the variety of kind of materials that you can obtain. And this is only one small part of this whole antique mall. I usually refer to it as antique vintage collectibles. Again, another one with some sort of sale going on. Not everyone has sales, like sale prices. A 
displays are of a whole hodgepodge of different ways of doing things. Some of those more modern teak kind of things, live edge boards, old skis. Some of them may have been for water skiing. This looks like a grandmother clock and it's very similar to the one I have at our home. Some of those characters are painted up in a not uh, socially acceptable manner now. Um, it's not a straightforward pathway through the third floor annex. It has a few dead-end aisles. Here's some metal ceiling tiles, plus a tractor seat. There's a, an old hub from a wagon. Carpets, car parts, electronics, old projectors, cameras. We saw a camera earlier on, which is the company doesn't exist anymore for cameras. Bottle collectors may find what they're looking for here. Folks looking for china, decorative items, collecting items oddities of various sorts there's a whole slew of different things yes we may have gone past some of these already before but that was on the way down the aisle then we're coming out of the aisle so you sometimes see a couple same thing a couple of times we don't focus on it the same way i'm not trying to focus on any one there's just too much right now I do my shopping separately from these videos that I take. It's much easier for me. This way you get a feel for what there was or is at these, at these places I visit. This is my first one. So <clears throat> you're seeing a place that I'm very familiar with, but it's never the same the two, any two times I visit. Primarily because I can't get through the whole place in one go. To be honest, it probably would take two or three days to do a very thorough, maybe even longer, uh, examination of everything that's available here. Apparently the, uh, the mall gets uh, fairly regular visits by film, TV, and theatricals set persons looking for just the right item for their for their production here we have someone who's got clothing along with other things then there's the furniture that have been repainted painted into chalk colors and so on i think it's a shame to take these nice wood grains that they've that you see there but that's what they're able to sell that's what they do it'll be a real problem to try and undo them at some point if somebody want wanted to here's somebody who's selling some of them and also does some teaching of the techniques on redoing furniture stuff and old golf clubs. I looked at this. Unfortunately, it's got a bit of a nick on the leather on the side, as you can see there. Again, albums, book, another vendor with books, and the regular good old Elvis. Old gas station items. I don't even 
can't even imagine where that large light's from. It's like a cabinet of some sort. That sign there about Jesus has been there a long time. Old bite of soft drinks rack. Some pillars for there. And somebody's redone some furniture there. And we're getting close to the end. Uh, these are some of the booths that are on the way out. I probably didn't mention where we actually left the annex and because you have to use the, the one of the main aisles to again get back to the stairs. I've edited this down from its original length which was much much longer but I'm showing you part of one of the main aisles and the annex as I call it. It's an area that isn't on the first floor but it is on second and third floor. On the second floor it's even larger than the first second to third floor. So here we have a variety of objects and there's furniture and some really funky stuff. <laughs> Sometimes you really get some oddball stuff. Old vending machines. It's a FINA can. It's a gas station we used to have here until Petro Canada bought them out. I'm sure it's a European brand Petrofina. We did have the, them as a gas station, but they weren't very big. And of course, Leachman drawing by someone. And all kinds of bits and pieces here. It's all nice old wooden floors. This is where we just came up the stairs. A little more of a closer look at what we had just as we came up the stairs. Some more books, some there's some nice leather coats in there if you got the right size for you. There's a coconut table if you caught it. That's one of the three aisles that's on the third floor. And you're gonna see the length of this this uh, whole structure is just filled.